Hi dear all, this is Matt Doc. In previous session, we discussed about the way of solving contradictory equation by using direct formula and factorization. Here we are going to discuss how to solve contradictory equation by using complete square method. So, just remind ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 contradictory equation. To solve this contradictory equation, as first step, we need to divide this equation by a. Then x squared plus b over ax plus c over a equals 0. Now here x squared coefficient is 1 and x coefficient is b over a and constant is c over a. Now we write a perfect square. Then x bar right as x and this plus sign right as it is. Then this x coefficient you divide by 2 and write it here. And constant right as it is. And subtract this constant square. Now continue. x plus b over 2a square equal b squared over 4a square minus c over a then b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared now subject x plus b over 2a get both sides square root then you get here plus or minus b square minus 4ac over 4a squared now subject x minus b over 2a plus or minus b square minus 4ac over 2a and finally x equals minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac to divide by 2a this process we call complete square method and here are the solutions then to find solutions for quadratic equations then you can apply directly this formula or otherwise you do the things of this process as an example x squared minus 6x minus 5 equals 0 complete square method here x coefficient is 1 therefore x minus 3 square minus 5 here x coefficient minus 6 you divide that one by 2 that will be 3 and you subtract constant square here 3 then constant square you subtract it that is the process then x minus 3 square minus 5 minus 9 0 x minus 3 square equal 14 then x minus 3 equal plus or minus root 14 then x equals 3 plus or minus root 14. And consider another example 2x squared plus 7x minus 5 equal to 0. As first step, we need to divide x squared these full terms by 2. x squared 7 over 2x minus 5 over 2 0 then x squared plus we write x plus 7 over 4 squared minus 5 over 2 subtract 7 over 4 squared x plus 7 over 4 squared equal put these two terms the other side 5 over 2 plus 49 over 16 Common denominator 16, 40 plus 49, then x plus 7 over 4, squared equal 89 over 16, now x plus 7 over 4 equal with both sides square root, 89 over 4 square root with plus or minus, then x equals minus 7 over 4 plus or minus 89 over 4. Those are the solutions.
Let's try another example. Two x squared minus three x minus seven equals zero. First divide each term with two. Then x squared minus three over two x minus seven over two equals zero. Now you write per base power. Write x, write minus, and x coefficient three over two you divide by two again. That will be three over four. Write constant as it is, and subtract three over four squared. Yeah, three over four squared. Now simplify. X minus three over four squared minus seven over two minus nine over sixteen zero. X minus three over four squared sixteen seven into eight plus nine zero. Yeah. Minus common for both, then that will be here. Then x minus three fourth squared fifty six plus nine over sixteen x minus three fourth squared equal sixty five over sixteen. Then x minus three fourth equal plus or minus sixty five over Four root then x equals three plus or minus sixty five over four. Then let's do another example. Consider x of x plus one minus x minus one over five zero. Here we can't see quadratic pattern directly, but by simplifying we can obtain quadratic equation. First, let get common denominator here. Five x, x minus one times x plus one, over x plus one times five equals zero. Then five x minus x squared minus one. You multiply this denominator. To the other side, then that will disappear. Now take all terms into right side. Then x squared minus 5x minus 1 zero. Now we can see the quadratic method. Now here onwards you can do complete square method. You write purpose square. Write here x squared as x, and here x coefficient you divide by two. And here, constant you subtract pi over two square. Now simplify. X minus pi over two square equal one plus twenty five over four. Then four plus twenty five over four. Then x minus pi over two equal plus or minus twenty nine over two root. Then x equals. Five plus or minus twenty-nine. Two power two. That's the thing about the solving quadratic equation by using complete square method. Thank you for watching us, Mathdoc.